Welcome back to SolidCam Pro. In this exercise, I am going to show you how to connect two beam using solid steel parametric for inventor with the help of angular connection. So let's start. First, select solid steel parametric. And here we are going to create a cup cut for this beam first. Select cup cut dialog tool. And now select the beam and select the second beam. And here, as we see, we have this cutout chamfer here. So if you want to change to fillet or hole, just you can manage from here. For now, I'm going to select hole. And radius, you can give from here. For now, I'm going to select 12 millimeter radius. As you see here. And uh, next, we have the width. We have uh, this gap. From here to here we have 50 millimeter here if you want to increase or decrease just can change the number from here for now i'm going to select 45 millimeter see 45 millimeter this gap here and here we have uh, this beam and this flange is attached so if you want to create a gap here between this uh, beam and this flange just you can change the number from here let's increase the number so we have little bit gap here this dimension uh, dimension is given from this flange to this surface here so for now I'm going to select 132 millimeter so we have created a little bit gap here so for the second side here we have in this uh, side so uh, this beam is smaller than this beam so we can't create a cup cut from this side here so disactivate this one see so now select ok Now we have all these dimensions here. If you want to save these all dimensions, just you can give a name and select save so you can use it for the next uh, project. So now just select the beam and select the second beam and select ok select the first beam second beam ok ok now cancel so now we are going to create a angular connection select angular connection dialog tool and now it's very important which surface you we are going to select first if you select this surface first so these dialog tools will be for this side and if you select this uh, surface first this dialog tools will be for this side so it's depend which surface you are going to select first for now i'm going to select this surface first and second so here let's change of this angular connection uh, steel dimension so select the dimension from here for now i'm going to select 125 by 125 thickness 8 millimeter for the width we have here if you see here we have the width from this edge to this edge 100 just if you want to increase or decrease just you can change the dim dimension from here and now we have this side we have 
this um, dialog tools this one for the first one here so let's increase the number first you see we have four holes we have two holes in this direction and we have two holes in this direction so we have four holes so now the distance from this uh, this angle edge angle to the first uh, hole here so we have uh, 20 millimeter so the distance to the edge so let's increase then this number to 50 millimeter you see now let's give a dimension from the center to the center of this hole 50 millimeter we have 50 millimeter from the center of this hole to the center of this hole and for the next from the center of this hole to the center of this hole let's uh, give a dimension 50 millimeter you see now let's change the dimension for the second phase here and here we have only two holes let's increase the number two so we, are, we have two holes in this direction and two holes in this direction so let's change the dimension from here the same let's give a 50 millimeter from the edge from the corner to the first hole you see we have 50 millimeter from this edge to the center here and let's give it dimension 50 millimeter now 50 millimeter let's delete you see we have 50 millimeter from the center to the center here and from the center of this hole to the center of this hole let's make 50 millimeter so now we are going to insert the bolt just select here for the first side here first let's insert the bolt just select assembly and now select which standard you want for now i'm going to select this one and select the dimension of the bolt m16 add and for the washer and knot just select this one so we have two washer and one knot okay look now we have four bolts here and here select for the second select from here change the standard and change the dimension m16 add and again add bolt uh, up the washer and nuts okay So here we have four bolts with the washer and nuts and the same in this side now the from this side we have this connection angular connection so just select single angle so we disactivate this one like this one just uh, check this box single angle The same here if you want to save all these dimensions so you can use it for the next project just you give a name here and save it for the next project now select okay if 
takes few seconds to calculate all boots for the second just select this surface and select this this one okay and the same for the second beam select this surface and this surface select ok and the same for this side select this surface and this surface So now, now we have uh, connected all these uh, two beams with angular connection. As you see, it looks perfect. I hope you like this video and for more project and more video in Inventor please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.